Hey there. This month's theme is depression. And I chose this topic because so many of us deal with depression and we feel shame around it and we don't want to talk about it. I know for myself when I had to go through a time of depression uh, years ago, I felt ashamed but didn't realize, you know, everybody goes through depression from time to time. So the month of May, we're going to talk about this a little bit. And, you know, depression can be a result of long-standing anxiety or fear and what happens is that we focus so much on those things that we begin to feel hopeless and helpless and that we can't do anything. We lose sleep at night. Depression can paralyze us, literally. There are people who have said they're so depressed they can't even get out of bed and that's a very real thing. There are times in which I haven't wanted to get out of bed when I was depressed. And so we find ourselves focusing on things that may not even be real, like wondering if we are uh, good at our job even though we just got a promotion or wondering if we are uh, good for our family and, and yet we just went on a fabulous vacation. So these things we begin to self-doubt which only feeds into d depression and we get caught up in it. But when we think about it, again, God is with us in everything that we go through. Uh, the writer of Proverbs 12, chapter 12, 25 says this, Anxiety weighs down the human heart, but a good word cheers it up. We get heavy with anxiety. We get heavy with fear. We get heavy with worry. And all those things can lead to depression, can lead to sleepless nights, can lead to the inability to do anything, the inability to get out of bed. But when we begin to think about how does God interact with us when we are depressed, where is God in all of that? And Paul actually had an answer for that. And some of you might have heard this before. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You're probably saying, yeah, I pray to God all the time about it. But how about the next time you think about your anxiety? Maybe just change your prayer to God, help me with my anxiety. Release it from me. And just say that, you know, throughout the day, throughout your time. And I would almost guess that little by little, the, the shadow of depression will begin to lift. You'll begin to feel good about yourself again. You'll be able to take in those kind words, those compliments. Because when we can't accept the reality that depression happens, and when we can accept the reality that God is with us in a depression and can offer us a way out, then we can begin to feel better about life and better about living the life that God has given to us. Living a life in which we can love the person or the people that God brought into our lives to love. So depression. Let's continue to talk about it this month. I hope that something I've said or something you heard uh, will help you and bless you uh, whenever you get a chance to listen to this. Take care. Bye-bye.